In this video, we're playing Bongo Rock by breaking down three bongo beats that you can apply to a variety of pop rock songs. I'm Kevin Zahner, and welcome to Rhythm Notes. Bongo rock is a broad term made popular by the incredible bongo band sessions with drummers like Jim Gordon, but it wasn't until the drum breaks from these sessions sampled by New York DJs like Cool DJ Herc and Grandmaster Flash that this music became legendary. difficult for a hand percussion to stand out in a rock band. You're competing with loud guitars and a lot of other rhythms from the drum set. That's why the secret to standing out is not always playing louder. It's about what you play and the quality of the sounds you're making. So I selected three patterns from the incredible bongo band that I think stand out and work for several different songs. I consider this type of bongo pattern an adaptation of a drum set beat because the low drum is used like a bass drum and the high drum is treated like the snare. Although this bongo beat works with a drum set like the original track, I often take this approach to playing bongo to accompany an acoustic guitar and vocals with no drum set. If you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to my newsletter Rhythm Insider at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. This bongo pattern is basically a habanera rhythm, which is an important rhythm to know if you play bongo. Focus on the simple pattern and then add your own flavor through light touches and variations. The pattern on Bongolia adds some funky variations to the habanera rhythm. So listen to the original track and find these moments. One and two and three and four and One and two and three and four and I love this bongo pattern because it has a lot of syncopation, and I like bongo patterns with flams. Not too many flams, just enough to stand out. This particular pattern is from about four and a half minutes into the track, and leaves a lot of space for variation and improvisation. If you listen to the whole song, you'll hear how busy the bongo parts are, as well as the kinds of fills the percussionist is playing. Who is playing on this track? It's hard to find out 
who's on these albums. Uh, if, if you know or think you know, give us the name in the comments below. I like looking up percussionists uh, to find out what they've played on and, and if they uh, are still around. Sometimes they have uh, really good videos on YouTube.